All right, so for one more one more thing I want to show you is how I edit um, files. Just some tricks and things like that, how I come up with my videos. So for that, I'm going to have to use my other computer because it's, it's got a lot more power. And in order to edit videos, you need some major CPU power. So I'll be back in a minute with the other computer. All right, so here we are using uh, Windows Movie Maker, which basically is a program that comes with Windows. So today I'm just going to show you a little tricks, a couple little tricks to uh, hopefully make your um, your editing a little bit easier. Now I'm by no means an expert in this, but I've made it. I've gained a facility that allows me to do what I need to do in terms of putting credits on, breaking things up, transitions, um, muting the main um, video if I want to put some other music over top, I, if I want to put titles on top, I can do that. Just your basic things. So what I want to do now is import a couple of uh, things. I've been working on uh, doing an instructional video for the weapon, so I might as well start on editing that. Okay, so um, since I want to do things uh, for the purpose of instruction, I'm taking the liberty of doing multiple takes and then clipping out the best from there and keeping that. So on this first one, I sort of just, as I went along, I made little notes on each video I took, and this first one had a pretty good beginning and end, but I kind of screwed up the middle, whereas this one I got a pretty decent take for the middle part. So the first thing I want to do is clip up this beginning okay so right now this is highlighted and in the right frame I can play that clip okay so the song will start Okay, so I know that what I consider the beginning is probably about 2 minutes and 20 seconds in. So I'm just going to jump ahead a little bit and see where I am here. Okay, so I'm just going to clip that off right there. So see this split button right here? I'm going to split that and as you can see now the first video has been split into two. Okay, So I'm going to take this first part and put it down here so that that's my that's the first part of my video. Now what a lot of people didn't know about this is that you can go you can v zoom in and out on the timeline so that it makes it more accurate when you drag and drop things. So if you go to the page up and page down. You can get really, really close in, so I'm at like one second at a time, or I can get way out, which is, you know, that's a minute, two minutes, and it's just a little section. So I like to be, like everything else, all things in moderation. I like to be somewhere in the middle. So first, the first thing I'm going to do is clip off the detritus at the front with me, you know, adjusting my sticks and putting my ears, phones, making sure my earphones are in correctly and things like that. Okay, so the video is going to start, so I'll pause that, split that. So I did the exact same split, but I'm doing it on the, on the lower part now. So now I'm going to highlight the beginning, and I just press delete. So I just got rid of that junk at the beginning, okay? So now this two minute and something clip is what I want to keep. Now, I'll edit this end when it comes to the time to putting the next part in. But now I know that the front part is good, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some a title on the video. So if I go to tools, titles and credits, you have three options basically. You can put a title at the beginning, you can put four. 
So drag and drop this right in that blue area. Okay, so now it's got a transition. Okay. So that's my first little part. So now let's say I make a mistake uh, right here. So now at this point I want to put a little title overlay on the um, video itself. So I'm going to go back to tools, titles and credits. This time I'm going to say on the selected clip. So I add that and as you can see it's at the bottom here. Okay. So if I scroll back a little bit and I play that part it'll come up as oops and now I can edit the title animation to um, anything I want. I mean I can have it fly in from the top left, I can put a news banner on there, I can put a scroll, I can zoom up and in, I can do a subtitle, I can fly in, whatever I want, newspaper, sports scoreboard, okay so I kind of like the uh, the news video insert because it's most evident and it still keeps the video playing and it's unimpeded so I'm going to pick that add that title so let's see how that looks okay so you can see it but let's say I make a mistake there All right. so basically that's uh, oh, and the one other thing you can do is if you really want, uh, let's say you record your video and your audio separately and you want to sync them up, you can basically, if you right click on that, on the audio from the video that's linked on this little thing right here, you can say mute. And what that does is it mutes the audio track and then you can import an audio from import media. You just pick your audio tune and you put it in here and then you can shift it back and forth this way so that it links up perfectly and that's a really good instance of when you would like to zoom right in on the thing so that you can get to the beginning and let's say your audio file started right here you could sync it right directly up to exactly when you started playing and it'll look perfect a lot of people don't take care to do that and it ruins a really good performance on YouTube. So um, there's a tip. That's the. Uh, it's basically all the hints I can give you for this. Um, it's a really good program. And then, oh, and when you're finished, uh, you go to publish movie. I say this computer. You could do it directly to DVD. I'll call it a movie, whatever. Now. Um, Usually, since YouTube has increased their um, amount to one gig, I don't really care how big the file is because I know it's not going to be more than one gig. But if you're kind of limited to time, you can you can pick whatever you want to compress it to in terms of megabytes. Um, for this, I usually just say best quality, and it's pretty close to whatever the thing was that was up there. I think it was 58. So I say publish, and it tells you you know it's going to be a couple minutes or whatever four minutes um, and then it'll show you a preview of the file and the default uh, I have it set to right now is WMV which is decent quality but pretty small for the amount of frame um, frames per second so that's how I publish my movies when they need to be published